thanks for joining me today for a new video. And for those of you who are in the United States, happy 4th of July. Today I'm going to be sharing a patriotic themed card inspired by the fact that this is the 4th of July. Now I don't want you to get hung up on the fact that this card is of course very red, white, and blue, perfect for the holiday. However, you can totally change up the look of this card and make this for any time of year simply by changing the colors of the cardstock and the sentiment chosen. So for today's project, I'm using the Dimensional Stars embossing folder and coordinating stencils from our Simon Says Stamp collection. These stencils pair perfectly with the embossing folder so that you can color the stars after embossing. So the embossing folder is a 3D embossing folder and it gives great dimension. I'm going to pair it up with one of our Simon Says Stamp paper strip dies and three of our Simon card stocks in soft navy, lipstick red, and white. And I've already cut those off camera so that we can get started on creating a really cool striped background. So again, don't forget you can totally change up the colors of this card for something else. Any color combination would look amazing with this. So I'm going to arrange these strips in a red, white, and blue pattern. I'm going to go ahead and just nest them up against each other as I create the background. And I've just covered this piece of paper with some of our Simon Says Stamp dot runner. So I'll trim off any excess that's hanging off the sides and then I can go ahead and emboss this background. So the Dimensional Stars embossing folder is a 3D embossing folder which is different than a 2D because it has different levels of dimension and that's what makes these so cool. So I want to make sure that the embossed areas are on the striped side of the paper. I don't want this to be debossed, I want it to be embossed. So you can see we have these dimensional stars on the background now and it looks really cool. The coordinating stencils are easy to tell what is the front side of the stencil so that way you can easily line these up and the reason it's so easy is because we have etching along the bottom of the stencils which allows you to know that that's the front. So I'm just going to line these stencils up on top of my background and then tape it down so it doesn't move. I've pulled out some Picket Fence Paper Glaze and this is the Arctic Fox Luxe color. It's beautiful. It's a white opaque paste that has a bit of a shimmer to it and I thought it would be perfect for this. So I'm just using a palette knife to apply that paste through the stencil onto the embossed areas of my background. So of course only some of the stars are getting colored because this is a triple set of stencils. So each stencil colors different stars and that's what's really cool and it allows you to be a little bit more customizable with the stenciling you do. So I pulled out the second layer after the first layer dried and I'm using Simon Says Stamp Gold Glitz Glitter Gel to apply through one of the other stencil layers. Now I only chose to do two layers with my stenciling and that was because I wanted to have one layer completely unstenciled. So now you can see I've got the white stars, gold stars, and then just those texture stars in the background that are from the embossing folder. So I'm now going to bring in this Shoot for the Stars die, it's part of our Simon Says Stamp collection, and one of our Simon Micro Dot Sheets. I've cut that sentiment from two different colors of cardstock, white and also our matte silver cardstock. I'm going to lay the sentiment inside of the micro dot sheet and using the release paper, I'm going to rub my finger over top of the sentiment so that way I can transfer those little tiny dots of adhesive onto the sentiment and then stack it up onto the white piece that I die cut. And so this is just giving me a slightly more dimensional sentiment and it'll give the sentiment a bit more of a sturdy feel too. Once I have this lined up, I'll just glue this straight down into the middle portion of my card with some liquid glue and there you have it. How fun is this card? So it would look amazing in any other colors that you chose. I of course with the holiday wanted to make sure I used red, white, and blue but you could totally change up the colors for a completely different look and use this card design year round. I hope you were inspired by this project using our Dimensional Stars embossing folder and stencils. If you are interested in any of the products I use today, be sure to check out the links below in the video description or over on our blog. We have picture links and still photos there too, so lots of information to be had. I hope you'll check it out. I hope you also have a fabulous holiday weekend and thank you so much for watching. Bye!